the routines in our boarding house are designed to assist the students in their organisation for their daily schedules. We aim to set them up for success in their academics and also for their independent living skills. As we mentioned previously, we have a prep program that happens every evening with teachers coming in from school to do either one-on-one -on -one prep or um, small group work. Uh, and this program we find really helps the boarders increase focus um, and certainly improves academic performance uh, throughout the year. Now here with me is May, one of our other boarding co-captains. Um, and May's going to talk to you a little bit about how the prep program has supported her with her academic goals. Yeah. So hi, my name is May and I'm from Kindobla in central New South Wales and I've been a boarder here since year seven. So the prep program has really helped me to like learn different ways to study, manage my time and learn how to deal with stress as well as like trying to study for tests and finish my assignments at the same time. They also It also really helps me with like, sorry, um, my, so the boarding house provides us with like lots of tutors, external and internal, so students can come in and help us, teachers from the school. I also have an external tutor that's really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, and I think just having the benefit here uh, with our tutors who work in the boarding house, um, a lot of them are trained um, professionals who also work in the boarding house, so they have a great variety of skills that they bring to the girls and help them with their goal setting for, for life as well as um, study. Um, the boarding experience itself allows girls to develop some essential life skills um, and whether it be things like, you know, learning how to do laundry, sewing a button, um, importantly negotiating with roommates, uh, perhaps about turning lights off or the volume of music in a room, um, through to mentoring some of our junior students um, and being role models in the boarding house. And I think these sort of roles really mm -hmm. help students not only with their current academic performance but also sets them up for success in future leadership roles. So, May, what other living skills have you developed here at the boarding house? Yeah, so the um, boarding house has taught me to learn to live with other girls, especially you might not always get along, but it's something that you learn to deal with. And I think it really helps you mature because you are living away from home from such a young age, so you do have to learn to deal with things a lot earlier on. In terms of practical skills, I have learnt to sew a button and lower my hem <laughs> successfully as well as um car maintenance it's also a big one in year 11 and 12 we get to you can have a car at school and so I think learning how to deal with a car is a good one so we will run living skills programs here in the boarding house as well which cover things as I said like um car maintenance um we do things like financial management um, and any job seeking skills, uh, helping the students writing resumes. Um, and we also often send students onto the barista training course. So it gives them some skills either to do uh, look for part time jobs um, or for skills after they finish school. One of the other questions that we're often asked in the boarding house by new um, students is do we have to hand our devices in every evening? Um, and that is part of one of our routines. Uh, students in year 7 to 9, uh, 7 to 10 actually will hand devices in around 9pm every night, but you will be able to get them back at 7.30 the next morning. And the main reason we do this is to ensure that everybody gets a really good night's sleep. Um, we all know how tempting it is uh, to have that phone by our bed and every time we hear a, a ping uh, to try and look for our text messages or our emails. We generally find that if girls have them overnight by the next day, they're just not able to perform at their best. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but in the end, it's not too much of a problem, would you say? No, <laughs> you get used to it pretty quickly. And by the time you're in year 12, 11 or 12, you have, you're able to keep your uh, devices with you overnight. So thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in the next segment.